Hello all, welcome to my channel. Quick video about uh, Ripple from uh, Veg Power Supply and how to soften it or rid of it totally. How I came to this? Uh, well, sometimes I work as a uh, radio amateur and it's just occasionally and sometimes talk with people and people reported me that uh, I have some strange uh, brooming noise uh, while I talk on radio station and as I use my bench power supply to supply my uh, UHF uh, UKV radio station uh, I realized that it's uh, it must be that uh, it have some bad ripple noise uh, in power. So from some strange reason I can't use uh, Dumi Load on this power supply you see it on the screen. Uh, just because uh, Dumi Load is almost short circuit and it triggers protection on my power supply. So I'm using just passive uh, resistor 22 ohms, uh, I will supply 20 volts from power supply and that's going to be around uh, current, uh, around 1 amp. So first uh, you need to see exactly what ripple I'm talking about. I. Uh, I just, uh, you can guess what I did, but uh, you need to see this. I made uh, this, you see, uh, just uh, to have a short possible loop, so does not pick any other. Uh, so let me... Okay, now it flow, okay. I shorted something. Look at ripple on the on the screen. It's like uh, maybe I could uh, try to keep it uh, a bit like this and to show you. Let me see if I can. Ten microseconds, and can I trigger it a bit better? Five microseconds. It's really, it's really bad dancing a lot, and uh, but it's around uh, 30, 40 millivolts, uh, around peak to peak 85 millivolts. That is important. And let me now uh, switch off this. Okay, let me connect this uh, electrolytic capacitor. I tried so many capacitors, inductors. Uh, I, I really tried many combination calculations and uh, uh, at the end uh, when I did, uh, when I couldn't get uh, desired result, I decided to try this stupid thing to add this capacitor to output. So let me show you what's going to happen now. You seen what happening? Now let me show now. Let me just soldier this to capacitor. Wire. Yep. Now. Now. Let, let me not sure to this resistor is uh, very hot. Really. Okay. Let me show you now. Look at now. So previously you have seen what I did and how I fixed the triple almost uh, fully. Dropped it few millivolts from 80 millivolts 
and even uh, including this uh, capacitor uh, by using it uh, I was able to cut uh, bad peaks and now only uh, this electrolytic capacitor will be here without this and you will be able to see let me power on my okay current flowing again I don't see anything oops that was short circuit it's shorted luckily I have protection so. yeah you see this now you can see it so what I wanted uh, let me see if I can go I need to 20 maybe uh, volts I can't go lower than 10 millivolts and let me measure peak to peak enough look at it below 10 millivolts do this single so now you see these peaks here here and it happens uh, all the time these peaks so I wanted even to remove them so I included this capacitor I will solder it now it's easier this uh, resistor is very hot now with both capacitors I don't have large peaks that is very good in compare to how signal looks without everything and uh, before everything else I will try to use a much smaller capacitor I don't think capacitance is uh, what I want let me solder this capacitor now 3.3 .3 microfarad 100 volt and this to here look at this with uh, small capacitor so capacitor of course need to be bigger but how much bigger that is question and this one here so let's let's current flow and to see what we have done even better so of course uh, size of uh, electrolytic capacitor affecting uh, this ripple and now ripple is almost uh, impossible to measure but uh, let me go to single yep a little better but I think uh, 10,000 microfarad will do the job so I will attach 10,000 microfarad into Raiden power supply with uh, this small capacitor to cut uh, peaks which was happening and I think I will be just fine with that without uh, any other modification needed so Raiden power supply will be much better with uh, some capacitor set output I as I remember I placed uh, large capacitors like uh, 20,000 microfarads uh, after uh, rectifier there is video link here about uh, how, how, how I have built uh, power supply with supplying Raiden uh, power supply so after all uh, 
uh, this ripple, large ripple, is caused uh, with uh, Raiden power supply and uh, how they build it. It's a uh, Chinese equipment. Well, it's serving me very well for uh, I think three years, two or three years already. So it's good power supply, but you need to modify it uh, to cut off that uh, 18 millivolts ripple with large peaks which can go up to 300 millivolts which are dangerous for uh, sensitive equipment uh, you may be supplying with that power supply or uh, repairing by injecting voltage from that power supply so this is uh, how you're doing it how you should do it and uh, Maybe there are better ways, but as I said before, uh, before this, I tried many RC, RLC, RL, uh, CL combination, and nothing was able to smooth that uh, huge ripple from Raiden power supply except a uh, large ca electrolytic capacitor and lower capacitors uh, it would be better that it's ceramic but i don't have ceramic so use it this polyester block capacitors uh, to cut off uh, those uh, leftover ripple after filtering with uh, this which this capacitor uh, couldn't cut so that is all and uh, I don't have anything more to say about this uh, so thank you for watching see you with next video which coming very soon till then subscribe like or dislike whatever thank you bye bye